Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Process. In today's video, we'll look at how you can create mesh object in Adobe Illustrator. We'll look at how you can use mesh tool to create out a nice 3D object using Illustrator. And then we'll create a nice package design using Photoshop. First, we'll look at how you can create this soft version of this product. And we'll be using the artwork option to give different version of color to it. And then we'll create out this nice uh, glossy package design and then we'll apply a nice texture to it using Photoshop. So let's begin with the designing process. So the first step we're going to do is to create out this object and to create that we need to create the base of the design and to create that let's open the illustrator and here if you check it out over here uh, here are the bases of our design. So this is the glossy product and this is our faded color tone. So to create this I have used some mesh tool. So this way I have applied the mesh to this product. As you can see uh, there are some placement which I have done to give some depth to the design like a nice softness so to create this let's select this and I'll just place this aside and to make it the exact same object I'll just bring out my ruler command or control R and let's just place it along the outline so that I can get a rough idea of the uh, size of our product so just place it uh, along the edge like that and then this way now let's create out so I'll be using the rectangle tool and draw out and create all the shape so just click and drag and draw a shape like this and just roughly make it a little broader similar to this so and I'll just fill this up with some random color so let's fill it up with some simple color like blue and now we'll uh, make this bottom narrow so to do that I'll select the direct selection tool and uh, before that let's select all these ruler and lock this up command or control 2 to lock the rulers and now selecting this select the direct selection tool select these two points and using the transform tool this uh, free transform tool selecting that we'll just go over here and when you see this icon just click and drag in with the alt pressed and with the alt press you can see you can just uh, make it closure from both sides if I release alt it will work from one side only but if I press the alt key you can do it symmetrically from both sides so I'll just make it a little bit narrow on the bottom like this and then with the right selection tool selected if you click on the anchor points you can see there are no handles to activate the handles I'll go to pen tool and select anchor point tool then just click over the point and just drag and then just break these points like this this one also just click and just break it like that this way this side also we'll just click and drag and break this anchor point and make it a little curl and now using the selection tool you got the handles to edges so let's keep this one like this and we'll be using these handles and just make sure you're giving some little curve over here and we'll do the same on the other side as well just click and drag and give that little curve over here so just make sure that they are looking natural let's add that rectangle over there so I'll just select the rectangle tool and just draw out a rectangle over here on top and I'll just make sure they are properly aligned with the guidelines which I have drawn so just extend it like that over here also just make sure they are properly uh, aligned with the corner like that we'll create one more duplicate for this so I'll just uh, create a duplicate of this with the operator just click and drag it down and create a duplicate of rectangle place it around here and let's adjust the size just click and drag and scale it down a little bit and then let's select the end two anchor points this and this and as you can see here I have just narrowed down the bottom so use the free transform tool and just narrow it down a little bit more so just click and drag so our top portion is ready as a basic shape now let's create out this lower portion as well so we'll be using the rectangle tool again and let's draw out a rectangle from here so just click and drag as you can see we have got some division over here this is this cap top portion is separate and this bottom is separate so let's create that so I'll just make sure it's this much thickness and I'll create one more duplicate of it and place it somewhere around here and let's make it like this now as you can see this uh, top corner is a little bit rounded so what we can do over here is we'll select the anchor points these two anchor points like these and these 
and just click on this uh, circular icon just click and drag it inward and you can make the corners round like this very easily just that and what we can do more over here is to give some roundness to the top cap we can just uh, add an anchor point so I'll just go to pen tool and just add one point over here and then let's select these two points and just make it a little bit shift it a little bit upward so just click and drag and shift it a little bit upward and that way we have given a nice uh, softness and to add more softness over here just click and drag and use the anchor point tool and just make sure you are making it softer here as you can see this point is quite like pointed so we can make it smooth using the anchor point tool just click and drag it and make it like this and then here we'll do the same here as well just click and drag and make it like that and after that use the die selection tool and make it a little bit tilted to give that softness over here and same goes on this side as well just click and drag and add that little softness over here as well now our bottom ca uh, cap is ready this one is also done and to create this shape we'll be using the uh, rectangle tool or you can create out it from any shape you like so we'll be using the rectangle tool I just click and drag a rectangle and create a rectangle like this then what I'll do is I'll just select these two anchor points and uh, just make a little bit curve a little bit like that similar to this and then over here I'll use the anchor point tool and let's break this like this and we'll do the same on the other side as well just click and break this anchor point like this and now let's adjust it a little bit more so just like the handles and just give a little bit of adjustment to give that little bit of curviness like that and for here uh, you can do further adjustments but I think this is fine and we can leave it like that so I'll just place this somewhere around here and uh, let's change the color a little bit different brighter color like that now the next step we're gonna do is to apply the color and to apply the color we'll be using a mesh tool and if you check out over here we have added some mesh like this in this pattern same goes over here as you can see here I want some highlight so I have added more mesh curves over here and here as well and over here as single so you have to make sure that what type of uh, highlight you want to give so if you want to give some highlight to your object you need to add more mesh so it's simple so for this product I have used uh, the minimum amount of mesh to create the object so let's follow this and create out this similar object so as you can see I have added a uh, base one two three and then I have one extra mesh like this and here I have added two extra mesh so let's add that so selecting this I'll go to mesh tool here's the mesh tool just click on it and let's add three mesh let's uh, add one around here two and then three so this is the three mesh and one extra around here and two around here to give that highlight at this region so if I go back here I have got three over here and uh, one two three and this so this is similar to that after that you need to do some adjustment with the position so we can do that later on first of all let's add that so after this uh, on the horizontal way we have added one two three three is the main three subdivision and on the upper one I have added one two three extra mesh and on the bottom I have added one so let's add that so let's uh, select the mesh tool again and uh, let's add one two three so this is the three and then for details at the bottom I will add one mesh around here here and uh, for on the upper one I need more details as you can see we need some highlighted tones so we'll add one more two more so this is the one first second and the third so three mesh like that so let's check out so this is our mesh and this is our like so all the all the mesh count are now similar let's do the adjustment with the position so as you can see I have added some little bit of curviness around here and shifted this so that we can give that nice um, natural organic look to this and then we have given some curviness to the mesh so let's do that adjustment so using the right selection tool let's begin tweaking the anchor point so I'll just uh, select this and bring it over here around here 
we'll just bring this around here and if you find some problem selecting these anchor points like this what you can do is just select these and arrange it to front and you can easily select the anchor points now we're trying to give that nice uh, softness nice like flow like this to give a flow to your design just click and drag the handles and maintain that flow of your curve let's uh, just make sure everything is uh, in the flow so change the angle according to it and for the bottom one let's see just push it a little bit more while applying the color you will give some uh, gap to, so that we can see some blending of the color tones and once you have done this let's start applying the color so what I'll do is I'll just pick the color from here using the R picker tool but I'll also share a color palette so that you can pick it from there so let's begin and first of all let's select everything and just uh, pick overall color like this as you can see our product is light brown or skin color tone I want to pick a some simple color from here so that we can work on from this base color so let's select everything and just pick the color from here like that now we'll select the anchor points individually and do the adjustment so using the die selection tool let's select these anchor points and the eye picker tool let's pick the dark color and uh, this color so uh, the color tone I have used is this this dark color and click OK select the rest so I'll just select these and just pick some color from here and we'll follow along so over here we'll need some little faded color so selecting these colors uh, I'll just pick some faded color from here like that little faded one just blending it properly like that and uh, we'll select these anchor points and just to blend the colors and just move it a little bit around here so we'll go down now so over here we'll be adding some color tones similar to this so let's pick the colors selecting this 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 let's pick the color around like this and let's select this 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 and this and let's apply some little, little bit of faded and we'll select these and we'll blend it with the rest of the colors so selecting this this uh, picker and blend it with the color some lighter tone like that and this way you are blending it with the other surface and you get that nice depth over here over here uh, we need to do some adjustment like I'll just add some darker tone so that we get some darker feel around here over here we can add a little bit of bright tone like that and now let's go down at this side so for this lower edge we'll select these anchor points and add some little darker tone of it darker color tone so that we can give some bumpiness effect over there so selecting these and I'll so just pick dark brown color little light so you get that little bit of feel over there you can pick from here as well like that so once you get that uh, idea of your shade you can easily pick the color from your design here it's looking very dark all I'll do is I'll just pick this color and pick some little lighter tone from anywhere from your design and fill it up like that. Okay, so uh, over here I need to add some little bit of color tone. So I'll select these, these, these and I'll pick some color from here, a little bit of dark. And for over here, let's select these, these and these and I'll pick this brighter tone like that let's select these now these it's all about adding color effect so we are just playing around with the shade of the color brighter to dark and giving some volume so at the edges we are giving some light tone so let's select these anchor points it's a little long process but as you go on you'll feel that you're giving some interesting look to your design so if I go and select this shape you can see I have just uh, make sure it is a uh, curve and push it a little bit off on the right side so that we can give some faded look to that so I'll just do the same over here just select these and let's push it a little bit off on the right side edge of the handles try to maintain the flow of the shape the same over here and using this handle tool you can extend the flow of your color like that so if you reduce this it will blend it in this bright color will spread out like this if you increase the handles same if you over here you can see the brightness is just a little bit around here if I extend the handles it will spread out whole region like this so this way I'm adding some brightness 
do the same for all of it just clip and just extend the handles okay so overall it's looking fine let's do some adjustments now so I'll just select these anchor points and choose some color from here just similar to this but little bit of fader don't like that over here just uh, select these anchor points a little bit and I'll just pick some little darker tone so just select this as well and pick some little bit of little darker tone let's select these and let's add some brightness to give some bumpiness effect like that uh, here uh, we can add a little bit of darkness a little bit of more darkness like that and just make it a little darker and here brightness we'll increase the brightness a little bit so let's select these anchor points try to add some brightness that check pick a color with a little bit of brightness just blend it over here so I'll just pick the color and blend it so let's see so here I have blended it like that here let's select this and just try to blend it so uh, just tweak each of the color individually later on the color should flow naturally and now for this edge we'll add some darkness so I'll just select these anchor points and pick some dark color from here like this this way uh, I have applied the color tone for this now let's apply the color to this as well so uh, before that let's add a mesh so let's add one around here and other around here and let's pick the color so just bring it to front and then select the anchor points select a color from here then do the same for the rest of the anchor points selecting these and pick the color somewhere around here so giving some gradient feel gradient shade over here gives you that a nice depth and nice natural look and here as well select these and add a little darker tone like that let's see and it will give you that nice uh, bumpy and little bit of uh, 3d feel over there and now let's do the same over here uh, for this I'll add some gradient color so it's simple we we'll go to gradient and uh, apply a gradient color like that with the eye dropper I'll pick some color from here just pick this copy color code Control C and then selecting this for the first color over here just paste it command V enter and then I'll pick the light color as well eye picker double click on it copy the color tone this is the color code and just selecting that gradient I'll just change the color so it's paste it and here we go and now I'll just give some angular feel to it a little bit of adding little angle to it like that so now once you have given the upper portion gradient let's uh, create this cap portion so th it's very simple uh, if you select this I have added some mesh like this uh, one two three and dividing by three so let's uh, create that selecting this I'll just uh, select the mesh tool before that let's apply some white color similar to that and using the mesh tool let's apply some mesh so first around here second and the third somewhere around here to make sure there is no extra if I click around here you can see uh, you got two mesh lines to avoid that I'm just clicking on the mesh line just to add one more and one around here and this way I have added these one two three and these two so similar to that and now let's apply the color so I'll just make sure it's arranged to front so that I can pick all the select all the anchor points easily like this and with the eye picker tool I just pick this color this is the color code uh, it's a little dark gray with the die selection tool select these anchor points again and with the apico let's pick some color from here now select these anchor points again and let's apply here I'll pick somewhere color around here this is the color code let's select these anchor points and with the apico tool let's pick this color somewhere around here color code I have used is this this is a little more brighter so it's all about how you give the color shade if you give a proper color shading you'll get that nice 3d feel and you can create any object you like similar to this uh, we'll do the same for the bottom cap as well so as you can see it has got some interesting shape that's why it has got some curviness and at, at the bottom I have given some dark color and as we go it's the same and using the mesh tool let's apply some mesh so and now let's do the adjustment so with the die selection tool select these anchor points pick some color similar to this and with the eye picker tool just pick somewhere around here like that now for the lower edge I'll just shift this little bit upward 
just select these anchor points and shift this little bit up like that now selecting these anchor points choose a dark color and this will give you that nice depth uh, and as we go on the left side it's fade away so wait, don't so that we can blend it over here so the cap portion is also ready now let's create this last piece so let's apply some mesh so just pick some plain color and now let's apply the mesh so if you go over here you can see one two three and one two three three by three so let's create that mesh now let's apply the color so as you can see this uh, portion is white so i'll select uh, these points and apply the white color so just pick it from here there let's pick the rest select these pick a white color for this other side we have given some darker tone so let's select these and pick some dark color selecting these just uh, shift this a little bit upward so that we can blend it nicely like that and just edge the handles and extend it a little bit upward so that we can distribute the color a little bit more further for the central region let's select everything and pick this color so this is the color code for the mid portion blending it and that way uh, you're giving some depth to this let's do some final touch up uh, so try to blend this portion or just select this anchor point and pick color from here somewhere around here just to blend it like that once you did that i'll just select everything like this and we'll go to photoshop so here is the photoshop file we'll be creating this let's open a new photoshop document 1500 by 900 create and here we do that so first of all uh, this is the color so i'll just pick this color and let's apply some color to the background so use this color code uh, light gray and just apply to the background alt backspace like that and now let's drag in our object so just select and drag in to photoshop and here is our object so just scale down the size so if you check out over here this is the object and this is our latest one and uh, here you can see some gap between the between each shapes so just to make sure that it doesn't come in photoshop just go to illustrator and just extend these just make it a little bit of broader like this from both ends do the same over here as well just make it a little, extend a little bit down a little bit like that and now selecting these just drag and drop it to photoshop and i'll just delete this previous one and let's place it scale on the size and place it around here now let's work on it further and create out this our nice package cover as you can see we have got three versions of the color and to create that three color tones let's uh, go to illustrator and i'll just create a duplicate of it like this now to change the color tone of this uh, object the simplest way to change the color tone is to select the shapes which you want to change the color so select this and this and i want to change this color to white similar to this so to change that i'll go to so selecting these shapes go to edit edit color and recolor artwork and over here select this active color and using the slider hsb uh, the saturation to zero do the same for the rest of the color selecting that uh, set the saturation to zero like this for each of the block so that way you are changing this uh, color to black and white keeping the shade constant so do this for all, all the rest of the color tones just select that each of the uh, color shade and just change the saturation to zero okay and just select this so go to edit again go to color edit and here selecting this just make it black and white do the same for the lower piece go to edit edit recolor artwork and just desaturate them both okay so we got the white color tone now once you have uh, changed the color to black and white select so these pieces this upper piece and i'll just uh, drag and drop it to photoshop and let's bring in the cap portion as well just select the cap just click and drag it drop it to photoshop enter so we got the cap and the shape transform and just scale on the size and place it somewhere around here enter and for the third color so to get that color let's uh, pick the color eye picker and this is the color code i'll just uh, create a shape add a new layer 
all backspace command D. So this is the color tone we want for the third object. We'll select these two and create a duplicate first of all and shift it on that side and selecting this other shape, this top shape, let's apply some hue and saturation adjustment layer. So we'll go to hue and saturation and let's play around with the color. So colorize, go to colorize and just apply to that and just play around with the color tone. So just uh, making sure that they are properly planned and you got that nice soft color. Reduce the highlight or fade a little bit more and you get that nice color tone. I'll just delete this out now. And after that, let's do the placement. So here we got that shape. I'll just uh, select these all and I'll just place it somewhere around here. These two, I'll just place it somewhere around here. Group it up, i do a G and place it on the back of it place it on the back of the object this one will also group it up so select these three group it up and just place it on the bottom and somewhere around here so selecting these i'll just place it somewhere around here now now uh, to apply the texture what i did is i'll just draw a rectangle like this similar to this shape and we'll change this uh, we'll convert this into smart object so convert this into smart object and double click on it and go inside and after that if I go over here and I just go inside okay these are the text as you can see this is the text which we have applied I'll just select everything and just drag and drop it there over here like that and these are all the text you can easily create it in Illustrator uh, for example if you want to create this shape in Illustrator you can uh, easily create that by just draw a circle so with the LS2 draw the circle like that, uh, give it a stroke color and just add some thickness to it just to see that. And now to create that design, just go to effect, distort and worker and bolt. Just preview it and just increase it. And over here you can give any shape which you like. Either you want a pointed one or you want a soft one similar to that. So what I did is I just created this one and click OK, selected that and just and drag and drop it to photoshop like this and scale down the size a little bit like that and place it around here and reduce the opacity somewhere around there and then i'll create it one more duplicate and for that i set the opacity to 100 and applied color overlay with the color black similar to that and reduce the size to somewhere around like that so this is the technique i have used so i'll just delete this out and this is the way I have created this shape and now I'll just uh, un unhide this a layer rectangular layer and save this file and if I go back over here you can see we have got that nice package level over here so I'll just transform it and go to distort and just make sure they are properly aligned with our shape like product so just select these anchor points and align them properly like this and somewhere around like that this one just place it somewhere around like that and this one is at the right position and for the warp option uh, just make sure that they are properly curved with the shape of this and to give some uh, volume make it a little bit of curve like that and after that if you check out over here this one this is the object. So we have changed the blend mode to hard light and reduce the opacity to around 80. So let's do that. So selecting that shape layer, this one, design layer, change the blend mode to hard light and let's reduce the opacity around 80%. I set this uh, fill value to 80 and opacity around 87, 80, just to blend it properly like that. And now we'll create a duplicate of this and I'll just place it to this other group. Just go there and let's come on control T and shift it somewhere around here and just scale this up a little bit. And uh, just to give that perspective look, let's do some adjustment with the shape. So like these, come on control T, stand this a little bit on sideways. Now selecting the group, I'll just push it up a little bit up. We'll select this group as well. Let's transform the shape a little bit more. Stand a little bit up, push it up a little bit more. Let's apply that level to the other object as well. So I'll just create a duplicate of it and place it at the other group. And uh, selecting that, let's place it somewhere around here. 
and let's extend the shape and for this let's change the color so I'll just double click on it and change the color overlay to white something like that and got that color and you can anytime go back and change the color adjustment layer like over here this one you can just go there and if you want to change the color tone a little bit of brightness or darkness you can easily do that further we have added some uh, drop fall shadow effect so to create that uh, let's uh, just group this up so that we, each of the object is in group and now let's add a drop shadow and to create that i select these and uh, create a duplicate of it just create a duplicate of it and just place it on the bottom just place it on the bottom like that i'll create another duplicate of it for the other object as well so let's select these two okay uh, we'll create a duplicate of it then bring it to the bottom and merge the layers and it's convert kind of smart object for the third object as well we'll bring out the shape so let's see this is the shape so i'll just like these and create a duplicate of it then i'll bring it to down merge the layers and convert it to smart object now selecting the first one so convert it into smart object then now with the transform tool distort just bring it around here like that place it somewhere around here we'll do the same for the others command ctrl t distort bring it down similar to this and place it somewhere around here command ctrl t distort bring it down and place it somewhere around here so all the three are in flat now go ahead there color, apply color overlay black and go to effect blur gallery and you can give irish blur and just make sure you're giving some nice effect to this just increase the blur value like this and just position it somewhere around here and just bring it down like this so using this you're giving some nice effect similar to this and we'll change the blend mode to multiply and reduce the opacity around 35 i will select the others as well i'll just select these and drag and drop it We'll apply the smart blur as well do the same for the selecting these just drag and drop it to that and with the smart blur as well now we'll adjust the smart blur of each of the shapes so just go there and adjust the blur value like this adjust the angle similar to that and click ok then change the blend mode to multiply and reduce the opacity to around 35 percent do the same for the last as well just the angle of rotation we'll change the plan mode to multiply and reduce the opacity around 35 percent and we got that nice drop shadow effect for the product each of the product like that so finally we have created this mesh object using illustrator and photoshop first of all we have seen how we can use the mesh object to give this nice color shades the main thing you need to understand is the color shade you're giving uh, using the color shade you can give depth and uh, highlight and bumpiness just using that we also seen how you can maintain the flow of the shade using the mesh tool and using the dice selection tool and after that to give some color variation we have used the artwork option to give different color tone to your design like that and after that we have shift to photoshop and in under photoshop we have added this nice design level and added some drop fall shadow and create out this nice cover design in the next row we'll look at how you can create this glossy mesh object and look at how we can apply some cool texture to it using the uh, blending option under photoshop so i hope you enjoy this tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel thank you